Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Amila Aini Benta Amrawah and our group will going to present on prevalence of filaria parasite in both domestic and stray cat in Selangor. The objective of this paper is to determine the prevalence of filaria parasite in both domestic and stray cat. The target localities is Pulau Keri and Kek Gasing. According to the Lane et al. in 1960 publication, cats, dog, and leaf monkey are among the known animal hosts that serve as a reservoir for Bruggen filaria parasite. Numerous published reports on zoonotic filaria involving cats has originated from several countries including Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, and other Southeast Asian countries. But in the endemic region, both domestic and stray cat have been reported to be infected with several filaria parasites such as Burugia malayi, Burugia pahangai, Dirofilaria amitis, and Dirofilaria repen. In Malaysia, there are limited data available on this prevalence of filaria parasite, but the study believed that prevalence of the filaria parasite, of, particularly of Brugia malayi, Brugia pahangai, and Dirofilaria amitis in both domestic and stray cat could have an impact on public health. Mechanism infection of Burundia pahanga in human could be underestimated through the study made. Closely association and proximity of cat and human in Malaysia is the evidence of possible natural infection of Burundia pahanga happen. Medical important transmission of Burundia pahanga in human have indicated that volunteers inoculated with this parasite not only develop microfilaria but they also suffer from lymphangitis, lymphonitis, and edema in the affected limb. According to the Muta Sheep et al. in 2014 publication, in human, infection with the Burgia malayi will cause lymphatic filariasis. Infection of human with the Dirofilaria imitis is very rare but associated with pulmonary relation and radiological correlation in the lung when infection occur. As for Dirofilaria infection, in human present in the eye or peripheral tissue with a subcutaneous nodule, virginous urticarial patches, and eosinophilaria photophobia, conjunctival inflammation, and nodule or cyst happen as the symptom of the infection. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Hafiza Muhammad Rosdi 139180. I will talk about meteorology and results. For methodology, they were divided into several aspects which the first one is the study area that includes two geographical sites in Selangor State, Malaysia. The site chosen was at Bukit Gasi and Pulau Kari because both of the locations have a tropical climate and high humidity and frequent rainfall throughout the year. Then, the collection of stray cats were performed by slowly approaching and scruffing the loose skin of the back of its neck to restrain it. After the cat regained composure, the blood collection from the ear vein of each cat is performed by a well-trained veterinarian. A total 170 blood samples were collected from domestic and stray cat and transferred it to EDTA tube. From then, the sample were stored at 4 degrees Celsius until direct transport within one day to the laboratory for analysis. Next, all the blood flow were stay using Gimsa stain or known as Inan Corporal Technique by C. Van Endem and Friedrich, 1966. The microfilaria were observed under a light microscope at 100 times and 400 times magnification. The image of the microfilaria detected using a digital microscope camera. The data analysis was performed using Microsoft Excel 2010. The result found out that the overall prevalence of infection was 23.5% in which from 84 cats in Pulau Kari including 54 domestic cats and 30 stray cats, 35.7% were infected. From 35.7% that were infected, 33.3% were domestic and 2.4% were stray cats. In contrast to Bukit Gasing, from 86 cats including 52 domestic cats and 34 stray cats in which only 10% were infected, 8% were stray cats and 2% were domestic cats. From the result above, 35% and 50% were positive for single B pahangi and D depends respectively. Another 15% were positive for mixed B pahangi and D repens. Therefore, 75% of the infected cats were domestic cats while 25% were stray cats. Hi, 
My name is Nur Manisha binti Abdul Mazid. My trip number 139181 and my part is discussion and conclusion. From the result of this study, Brugia Pahangi was observed in domestic cats only. This support the conclusion of their previous study by Tan Adel 2011, which stated B. Pahangi has been reported in suburban of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in domestic cats, and this proving domestic cats are the source of Brugia Pahangi. Besides, the highest prevalence of infection of Brugia Pahangi was recorded at Pulau Kari, which is a rural area having the presence of both mammalian host and intermediate vector which is the Mansonia mosquito for Brugia Pahangi to complete their life cycle. However, the lowest prevalence of infection was recorded in Bukit Gasing, which is a suburban area. This happens because Bukit Gasing don't have the intermediate vector to complete their life cycle. According to Tarello 2002, cats infected with d repens report several symptoms which are lesional pruritis, concurrent hemobartonellosis, and cutaneous lesions. However, in this study, none of the cats recorded any symptoms, any of these symptoms. In conclusion, Brugia pahangi and D-repens could be the major filariasis in the study area even though Brugia malai is the most important parasite of all filarial parasites in Peninsula Malaysia. This parasite could potentially pose a threat to the human population. Therefore, further studies about the role of cats in the zoonotic transmission of microfilarial parasite should be done in the study area and appropriate prophylaxis should be taken to the cats throughout the study area.